How's it going, everybody? And welcome to episode number 66 of the Manager Mode 2.0 series here on FIFA 16. Now, with the winter transfer window just around the quarter, I think I will let you guys give you a little insight on who's going to be sold this window, who are we going to try to push out of the club. And you, as you can see from the immediate list, we are looking to push out some talent here. And really, it's just by design. I think we kind of pushed our transfer but our, our wage budget to the max here and we've got a lot of young players that have been getting a lot of playing time playing well so it might be time to just cash them in now even though it's a bit early but we'll go through the list here um, and just kind of go over what, what the mindset is for Ted Lasso as we get ready for the winter transfer real free is just his contracts up this season so we're gonna see and we're just gonna throw a line out there see if anybody wants to take a chance on him Hughes, we've, he's been unhappy for a long time. He wants a three times what he's making now, and he's unhappy with playing time. He's really getting disgruntled, and I think we could find a better replacement for him at center back. So I'm okay with letting him walk. We'll we'll, we'll shop him around this winter, see if anybody takes a bite at him. Very serviceable center back. I hate to lose him. I really like him, but he just he's kind of lost favor of the team. He's only started now to get back in on the lineup, but. He's still not quite where he, where he was last season. O'Kelly, same deal. He's on the end of his contract. Uh, just shopping him around right now. Uh, Gutierre, he, now he's been a stud for us here this season. You can see he's our highest priced player for sale. You know, only 17, you know, 600,000 pound price range. Uh, we could get some money for him. And again, his contract's up this season. So, um... I think Ted just didn't do a good job signing these young kids to longer contracts, so probably take note of that next season. He didn't think these kids would be uh, a crucial part of how uh, Newport County succeeded this season, but you know, it is what it is. Cabrera, same deal. We brought him back from loan, actually. He was out on loan. We brought him back here just this month uh, just to fill in some depth, and uh, we're going to, because his contract's up as well. Uh, just him's an interesting one. Uh, you can see he's not going to be very pricey. We picked him up on transfer from Luton Town. And I just wanted to see if we could sell him, to be honest, because, you know, he's been doing fantastic work in the league. We, we seem to have a knack of making the goalkeepers, getting our money's worth out of these goalkeepers. So I think it's time we just get rid of Just Ham. I've got two young goalkeepers in the pipeline that are, are going to be better than him in the future. So, I mean... It's only a matter of time before he starts tailing off, so I just think it's time to sell. Jardim, we're going to put on a loan. He, he's still not fully back from his injury yet. He's almost fully fit. I think um, right now we have an abundance of uh, midfield players, and you can see that we have Nieto and Osa Dembe also on loan for the remainder of the year as well. Uh, my thought process uh, with that is, I mean, these guys still have comes contracts left. Uh, Jardim and Nieto have been, or Nieto's been a breath of fresh air. Jardim was good before he got hurt. So, I mean, I, I, my intention is to get these guys back and maybe free up some space to bring in some more players out of the academy because right now our midfielder is going pretty thick and fast. And Osa Dembe, I've been very disappointed with him. Uh, we've had him here. He came year one in the winter, and he's always been injured, and he's just underperformed for us, and he's only grown one uh, overall in the in that nearly two years so I think it's next season I think he's going to go for sale but for now I think it'd be best for him since he's not getting first team minutes is to ship him out to uh, another club see and maybe they can help him out hopefully not a rival club so we'll see what offers come in for him but that is the short of it of what we've got transfer listed again we're not I'm not looking to sell all these players. I'm just looking to, you know, free up some cap space and just see what offers I can get for them. These are just players I'm interested in maybe getting rid of. Um, there's probably going to be some lone players that we're probably going to have to let go um, and just retool, I think. Um, even though we were playing very well at the moment, you can see, just look at our wage. It's just, it's, there's there's nothing there. We can't re-sign any players right now, so we got to sell some assets here, make some room, and maybe we can re-sign guys like Gutierrez and Cabrera and Faria, you know, those young guys that will want to stay at the club for the long haul. Hi there, everybody. Happy Christmas to you. Thank you for joining us today. That's Alan Smith alongside me and myself, Martin Tyler. This is the Blackpool team for this match. 
And we put it out here, Alan, as a 4-4-2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think, to begin with, it'd be interesting, actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. This is how the visitors will line up today. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Pekula, nice stop there. Held up nicely. The shot! Oh! Via B with the opportunity there as Blackpool are getting the early chances here. Just kind of whiffed that shot as it went over the bar. Oh, Harrison makes a man miss. He's gone. Harrison's through. Can Harrison finish it here? Header! Collins buries it. Oh, man. We got lucky on that counterattack. Is Harrison able to beat the defense and gets a shot away, but the keeper makes the save. But Collins is there to clean up the mess. And we get a huge goal here on the road. Once again, we, we keep scoring here in these first half of games, and it's paying off for us. As you can see, Harrison had a brilliant break on the ball there. Just beat everybody to it. Keeper made the great save, but Collins there able to clean up the mess. Gets his head to it and beats everybody to it and hits it bar down into the net. Brilliant. Cabrera, what's that ball in? It's good ball in! Collins buries it again. It's 2 0. Well, oh, what counterattacking play there as Collins finds another one. And there's a great ball in for Cabrera there on the wing as well. Wow, Blackpool are gutted right here. They're getting owned here in the home, this Christmas Day fixture. Let's see it again. Oh, just brilliant. Oh, brilliant headed finish. A oh, brilliant ball over the top. And Heron with a horrible volleyed miss. It's brilliantly set up, and he just whiffed that shot. Oh, that's a nice ball. Uh-oh. Pulls him down. Don't give him the shot. Bachman with a big save. Oh, Heron. Gets the rebound chance, but sends it wide. Blackpool pressing their luck here. Oviedo. Faria makes the man miss. There it is. Thompson's through. Thompson's going to finish it here. Come on. Oh, and he buries it. Thompson once again poaches a late goal here. And it has put this match out of reach. Blackpool were pressing. And we beat him on the counterattack here once again. It's Thompson, the goal scorer. Just, he found his way through. Just patient build up there. Gets in the box and just takes the shot. Nice, sweet finesse goal, far post. Keeper had no chance of saving that one. And there it is, boys, the final whistle. And the Blackpool fans are booing. I uh, gotta watch out. Hopefully they're not like Philly, Philly fans that throw snowballs at Santa Claus. But, <laughs> but Newport County get the victory nonetheless here on Christmas Day, and we have been on a roll here. Reese Thompson getting highlighted here. He gets the late goal here, not the game-winning goal, but just to tack onto our impressive victory here. And we have looked good here to wrap up the end of the year here in 2017. And the final from Blackpool, 3 0 to Newport County. Look at the match facts. Not a lot of shots in this match. We didn't really need to. We got an early goal, and then we just kind of built on it from there. Um, comfortable match. Um, I felt like they were chasing more again. The fouls are a bit unfair, I think. Um, I mean, we had to make a couple crunchy tackles there to make sure we didn't uh, lose this match, but. A 3-0 victory, nonetheless, is pretty sweet for Newport County. It's a great birthday, or not birthday, Christmas present for uh, Ted Lasso.
They give the uh, clean sheet, the Bachman match ball. And I would give it to Collins because he, he had two goals. The game robbed him of one. It gave him the own goal, but uh, clearly it wasn't. Um, not too. I was too. I was pretty pleased with everybody how everybody played. You know, um, can't complain. Everybody played pretty solid, and we just kept getting better and better as the match wore on. Here's a chance to make an impression for these two teams in this competition, the Johnston's Paint Trophy, and a chance to get to the next round. Yeah, and maybe just uh, a welcome break from league action for these two sides, so uh, they should be free to express themselves out there. Well, this is how the home team shape up, and we put it out here, Alan, as a 4-4-2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think, to begin with, it'll be interesting, actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. This is the away team lineup. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. He's on the bench. And perhaps at this stage of his career, phasing himself out of the game at this level, has been a talk of retirement. Well, there has been talk, Martin, but he's still an important player within this squad, I think, for his leadership qualities, so it's it's a bonus to have him back. Tagging and pressing here. Ah, brilliant ball in. Oh, the shot, and it just goes over. Dagging him right now, controlling the play with that chance. Nice effort, just could not keep it down. Is that ball out wide to Hines? Oh. That's a good ball in! And it's in the back of the net. You can see it coming. Yusef buries it, and it's 1 0 to the home side. This poor defending. Uh, back line with just caught ball watching, and uh, they stick that through the near post. Just Am should have saved that one. He got a piece of it, but not well positioned there. Nice ball. Finds Collins. Collins! He buries it on the counterattack. We've leveled this match up. And it's Collins yet again on the counterattack. Just a brilliant play. We punch the ball away off a set piece. Off the corner. And it leads to the goal. Almost identical to the one we scored in the last match. It was, was Ferrio fed Collins. And it was just a beautiful finesse finish near post. Collins starting to find that form again, which is good to see from the young striker. Over the top, looks for Collins. It's a beautiful ball. Collins, can he finish it? Oh, no, he can't. Ah, oh, there it is. It's O'Kelly on the overlap. Oh, big save by Cousins. It was a nice shot. Nice overlap there by O'Kelly. Took a nice strike at it. It was actually, ooh, that could have been in. In. Ball's whipped up. Oh, Collins. Oh, Collins takes the deflection. The lead. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, my goodness. This goal is just begging for us to score. And we just can't bury it. Here it is again. Hit it with power. Had to keep her beat, but couldn't beat the crossbar. Oh, there it is. Nice. Osa Dembe take the shot. And it's in the back of the net. Osa Dembe has scored. Uh, what a goal. Oh, wow. I didn't think he would get that on target. It was on night. It was a mistake by the back line. Edwards fed Osa Dembe in a brilliant run. He just hit it with power. And he just overpowered the keeper there. What a strike on that right foot. And we have got the lead here, folks. What a goal. Finds Thompson. Makes a nice, makes me a miss. Oh, he's in behind Edwards. Edwards take the shot. Oh, just missed it to the far post. We're looking to bury another chance. It would have been a huge away goal if we would have finished it. And that's going to be the final whistle. Newport County come to Dagon and Redbridge in a tough fixture here in this first leg of the Johnson's Pickup Trophy. The area semifinals, one step closer to Wembley. We get the victory here, 2-1 with two crucial away goals for us here.
as we're going to be playing the home leg next week. And as Emmanuel Osadembe gets the game winner, huge goal. Could that have sent us to the finals in Wembley? We'll have to wait and see for the next episode when we play that match. We have a league match in between, so it's going to be a very enjoyable ride back to Wales. 2-1 the final. Oh. Here are the match facts. Even though we definitely were outpossessed this most of the match, we were chasing the game quite a bit. But I, when, once we tied it up, the game started, that second half, it really started coming back to our, our way, and we were really getting some shots firing on the net, and we really took our chances there. It also Dembe keep up huge for us. Again, uh, not a lot of fouls called, but, man, we we got – I think we got – we got – pretty fortunate to get out of here with the two goal way goals that we did so it's going to be imperative that we do well in the home leg as well and punch our ticket to the finals <sighs> but a good result nonetheless just damn gets a 9.8 even though he gave up a goal whatever uh match ball is going to go to osadembe for me uh came up huge um having to play i wasn't planning on playing him but we ended up playing him just due to our depth concerns right now and Came up with a huge goal and uh, assist from Edwards and Faria. As uh, Collins had another great game, he's making a state, he's making a claim out there to be in the mix for the rotation. So that's got a lot to think about here, boys. But that's going to end episode 66. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the trans people we have on transfers. I know it's probably not ideal to sell these young players. At such a tender age, well, we could probably get more out of them, but we do have to think about a. We do have a budget where we're trying to keep w within, and we can't improve the squad anymore unless we sell some assets, make some room, and maybe bring in some quality players. Like we, we're getting ready to sell Hughes. We're probably going to need another center back um, option. Uh, if we get rid of the midfielders, then I'd probably be looking to get maybe a new midfielder in. Well, there's a lot of things we could do here to uh, in this month but we will i will keep you up to date with any transfer news that happens here at newport county but it's going to do it for me i'd like to thank everyone for watching the uh, live stream and everybody that was watching the video i appreciate it make sure you like and subscribe for more content and until next time folks i'm ice troop 31 and i'll see you around <laughs>